uh, James Gilligan is the author of what I have called the most relatable theory of violence. And uh, in this uh, video, I'd like to point you to three of his books that are well worth reading, very rewarding uh, books to read and uh, very informative about what this relatable theory is all about. Uh, James Gilligan was the uh, chief prison psychiatrist in Massachusetts for many years and his thinking about violent crime grows out of that experience. Um, in a nutshell, his theory is that um, the, the feeling of having been shamed or humiliated is at the root of much of the violence that we worry about in our society. Uh, in other words, it's not that some people are bad and some people are good, and it's the bad people who commit violent crime. Rather, he's saying there is something about human nature in all of us that has the possibility of uh, leading to violence if we are humiliated and shamed. Um, <clears throat> let me show you the cover of the first book. And probably um, Gilligan's masterpiece. <clears throat> the book called Violence Reflections on a National Epidemic. And my impression is that it has been published under other titles as well, but this is the one that I know it uh, by. In this book, uh, Gilligan starts out with a true crime story from his own family history. And that's a story that he comes back to after he's developed some of his ideas. And he's able to reinterpret that family story more deeply. He is a, uh, a careful writer and a very literary one. There are many references to the classics and uh, to Shakespeare in um, his work. I enjoy uh, reading him very much for those reasons. But um, in this book, he describes his work in the Massachusetts prisons, the interviews that he had with many violent criminals, uh, the conclusions that he drew from common threads that he found in some of those uh, stories. And uh, he realized that once he had a deeper understanding of violence, he had many criticisms of the prison system within which he worked himself, because he saw that the prison system was not serving to curb violence, it was serving to amplify violence. And um, he felt that he understood why uh, after developing his theory. He also, toward the end of this book, begins to talk about structural violence, uh, the violence that is done to people by uh, conditions like poverty. And uh, he posits, I think quite reasonably, that the way to reduce that kind of violence is parallel to the way you would reduce violence in an individual. Uh, and that is through more humane interactions and uh, uh, treatment. A second book, a short one, uh, extends this idea. Uh, the second book is called Preventing Violence. And uh, in it, he uh, reiterates the, his shame or disrespect theory about where violence comes from. He extends the argument a bit to uh, masculinity and the problems of masculinity, because the elephant in the room when it comes to unnecessary violence is that most of it is committed by men. And uh, uh, he, uh, he takes that into consideration and develops some ideas about that that I think are very productive. Uh, he is a psychiatrist, he's in the health sciences, and he is accustomed to thinking about prevention in terms of uh, primary and secondary and tertiary 
uh, stages of prevention. Uh, tertiary means uh, therapeutic treatment for the violence that has occurred or violence that is clearly about to occur that an individual is about to commit. Uh, secondary prevention refers to early intervention to head off violence before it occurs. And primary prevention of violence for Gilligan has to do with respecting people rather than disrespecting people. And he is quite eloquent in uh, painting a picture of what that looks like at the individual level, at the community level, at the societal level, and even at the international level. There's a third book I want to recommend, and this really comes out of the fact that Gilligan is a literary guy, as I mentioned. Um, this third book is called Holding a Mirror Up to Nature. And it was written by a colleague and friend of his, uh, David Richards, um, who is a Shakespeare scholar. And uh, Gilligan and Richards look into Shakespeare's tragedies and comedies and other, they, they consider many of his plays and they examine the incidents of violence and the nature of violent episodes in these plays. Um, and they come to the conclusion that Shakespeare is a really good psychologist and that he understands uh, how, how violence works <laughs> and the factors in human life that turn it up or down. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it, I, I recommend it. It's for people who like literature, it's going to be a, a joy. It's a crossover between uh, psychology and uh, literature. So there are three book recommendations, and uh, I I feel that these books have contributed a lot to my own uh, understanding and appreciation of the ramifications of violence. Um, it has helped me to see uh, violence in its early stages and uh, consequences of violence that include remote collateral effects of violence more clearly than I had before. So um, if you found this interesting, please give this channel a um, uh, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and that helps me to uh, make progress with this project. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.